Good morning. And welcome to Family Sunday School at he, here at Faith John's Lutheran Church. Today we are going to check back in with Herbert and his dragon in motion. But first, it is time for offering and milk set. Hi guys, I went to the mailbox at St. John's today and look at what I found. It's a postcard from Emmanuel. For those of you just joining us, Emmanuel is our scholarship student from our sister church in El Salvador. And he's a high schooler and we're so excited to help him with his education. So let's see what this postcard says. Hola. Hi. Estoy muy agradecido. I am very thankful. Por toda la ayuda. For all of the help. Que me han dado. That you have given me. Gracias. Thank you. Que Dios los bendiga. God bless you. From Emmanuel de Jesus. So continue to save your offerings and we'll get them when we're all back together again or you can send them over to St. John's. Just make sure they're labeled Sunday School Offering. And we want to send some cards back to Emmanuel. So right outside the main doors at church, the preschool doors, there's a bin that's labeled Cards for El Salvador. And you guys can make a card or draw a picture this week or anything you want and drop it off in that bin and we'll put together a care package to send down to El Salvador. All right, have a great week. Hi friends, it's Mrs. Wobble here. Hope you sing along with us. I have the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart. Down in my heart. I have the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. I have the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart. Down in my heart. Down in my heart. I have the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart, don't need my heart to stay. Hi friends! How to train your dragon, Herbert What's up? and a monkey. Ow! Ah! Ah! Oh God! Oh, you I'm hurt sorry, me so I'm so bad. sorry, I'm so sorry. Hey, Phil Vikings, it's me, Herbert, and this here's my emotion. Give him away, buddy. I'm sorry we're not all happy and excited today. We lost someone very special, someone very close, didn't we, pal? It's been a rough day for my emotions and my family. This happened very suddenly, and well, we're just very sad, as you can tell. We shed a lot of tears today, and we're going to shed some more. It's hard knowing that someone you love, someone who's been close to you for so long, is, is gone. You can't call them on the phone, you can't visit them, you can't say I love you one more time. But the good news is, we won't be crying for long. Right, pal? Because we know that special someone is going where, where we are going. We should love Jesus. And I know she's in heaven right now. She's probably happier than we are right now. Yeah, you can say that again. I would. But I don't feel like being funny or anything this week. Yeah. That's okay, buddy. You just go ahead and cry. The Bible says even Jesus wept when his friend Lazarus died. But Jesus turned that sadness into joy when he rose Lazarus from the dead. I have a feeling that we all experience that joy when we see her again in heaven. Okay. No one likes to be sad. 
and no one wants to stay sad. So when sadness comes, remember that God loves you. When you start to think about all God's blessings and the hope we have in Jesus, that can give us peace, even when we're sad. Yeah, it sure can. Stories of the Bible. Jesus raises Lazarus from the dead. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He did many miracles and healed people of their sickness. Jesus had a friend named Lazarus who was very sick. <coughs> He had two sisters named Mary That's okay. and Martha Here you go. who sent a message to Jesus telling him, Lord, your dear friend is very sick. So come on. But when Jesus heard about it, he said, Lazarus's sickness will not end in death. No, it happened for the glory of God. Uh, what? So although Jesus loved Martha, Mary and Lazarus, he stayed where he was for the next two days. All right, I, I'll go. Finally, he said to his disciples, let's go back to Judea. Uh, are you sure? But his disciples did not think this was a good idea because the people in Judea had tried to kill Jesus, but Jesus told them they were going anyway. He said, our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but now I will go and wake him up. Yeah, be okay. The disciples thought Jesus meant Lazarus was simply sleeping. So Jesus told them plainly, Lazarus is dead. What? And for your sakes, I'm glad I wasn't there. For now you will really believe. Come, let's go see him. Thomas said to his fellow disciples, let's go too and die with Jesus. When Jesus arrived at Bethany, he was told that Lazarus had already been in his grave for four days. Many people had come to be with Mary and Martha because their brother had died. When Martha got word that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus told her, your brother will rise again. Yes, Martha said, he will rise when everyone else rises at the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live even after dying. Do you believe this, Martha? Yes, Lord, she told him. I have always believed you are the Messiah, the Son of God. Then she returned to Mary. She told Mary, the teacher is here and wants to see you. So Mary immediately went to him. When the people who were at the house consoling Mary saw her leave so hastily, they assumed she was going to Lazarus's grave to weep. Oh, let's go too. So they followed her there. When Mary arrived and saw Jesus, she said, Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and saw the other people wailing with her, a deep anger welled up within him. Where have you put him? He asked them. They told him, Lord, come and see. Then Jesus wept. The people who were standing nearby said, see how much he loved him? But some said, this man healed a blind man. Couldn't he have kept Lazarus from dying? Jesus was still angry and he arrived at the tomb. Roll the stone aside, Jesus told them. Wait, hold on, Jesus! But Martha protested, Lord, he has been dead for four days. The smell will be terrible. Jesus said, didn't I tell you that you would see God's glory if you believe? Go ahead. So they rolled the stone aside. Then Jesus said, Father, thank you for hearing me. You always hear me. 
but I said it out loud for the sake of all these people standing here, so they will believe you sent me. Then Jesus shouted, Lazarus, come out! And Lazarus came out, his hands, feet, and head wrapped in cloth. Uh -huh. Jesus told them, unwrap him and let him go. Wahoo! Many of the Jews who were there believed in Jesus, for he had raised Lazarus from the dead. Hey guys, Miss Joanna here. I know this topic this week is tough, right? But we all feel sad sometimes, and things are going to happen in life that are sad. So this week when you feel sad, I want you to stop and just let yourself feel it. When I'm feeling sad, I like to come out into nature. It's my favorite spot to be. In nature, it reminds me that we're all connected. That everything has a role to play. That when the leaves fall every autumn, it's so they can become food for everything in the spring. The wildlife depends on the forest, and the forest depends on the wildlife. Everything out here matters, and everything plays a part. That's how we all are, too. So this week, I want you to get outside. I want you to feel sad when you're feeling sad. I want you to take a hike. I want you to see how everything is connected. I want you to take deep breaths and breathe the air in. I want you to look for frogs and skip some stones and and really enjoy nature this week. I'll see you soon. Hey y'all, how's it going? I'm here to teach you your memory verse. Do you know what it is? It's from the book of Psalms, chapter 9, verse 2. I'm going to say it, then y'all repeat. Ready? I will be glad and full of joy because of you, most high God, I will sing the praises of your name. That's it. Think you can remember that? Do your best. See y'all next week. Bye. Now it is time for our prayer. Please repeat after me. Dear God, sometimes life is sad. Wrap us up in your arms and fill us with your love. Amen. Our blessing this week is you are love. Please make a sign of the cross on each and other's foreheads and say, you are love.